friends, we are going to do an update video on this one's hand. We talked to her doctor, well, if you are new, she has had a fractured hand for what, eight, nine weeks now? And it's in, in a spot where the growth plate is and on her wrist, so they didn't cast it. They just did like a wrist guard. You wanna show them your wrist guard? I know, I'm just showing them. So we've been doing that since we went to the urgent care from the beginning. And then we went to a specialist and they just decided to just keep doing that wrap and see how we improved over two weeks from the specialist appointment. Literally there has been no improvement. In fact, it hurts her worse. Is that correct? So we had an appointment over the phone with this doctor, the specialist last week and she was concerned. She's like, it wouldn't have been like completely healed by now but you shouldn't be in more pain. She should have been able to not wear the wrist guard for like more than half the day, and that's not the case. She's wearing it almost all day. We're gonna go get an x-ray today, I think. Most likely we will, because they don't know why it hasn't healed yet. Okay, so we've moved from this brace to this one, and we'll explain more what we're gonna do next. All right, we're back in the car. So their, I felt bad. Their whole computer system went down today, like maybe a half hour before we got here. And so they had booked an appointment for her to get an x-ray. It was like a temporary, and they had to like secure it in the system once she arrived, but they couldn't do that because their systems are, are down. They're literally like handwriting all the notes, like old school, and they even had to print out the schedule. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so they technically couldn't do the x-ray today. They just couldn't even like, we could walk there and go get the x-ray, but they just couldn't, in the system, they couldn't put her on the schedule to get it done. They said that regardless of the x-ray, they're actually, she, the doctor is actually leaning more toward an MRI. She's like, I'm more leaning toward an MRI. But she said the only reason why an x-ray is involved is if insurance won't cover the MRI unless an x-ray proves that they need the MRI. So she said by Monday, they will know if we can schedule the MRI and, and or if we need to get the x-ray. I'm actually just gonna leave this video open for, for a little bit and we'll be back with you guys once we kinda know what the next plan is because I kinda wanna just like group it into one video because we don't really have a solution for right now. Kaylee has her, here, show it in more detail. Let me see I'm her. I'm trying to type and this is but really you... difficult. <laughs> okay. So she has a wrist guard now that goes clear up her thumb. Can you just hold it up in front of my camera real quick? Yeah. yeah. So it comes up her thumb and stabilizes it. There's no way I could like regurgitate the medical side of it. I mean, you couldn't do it either. What? All the different terms she was talking about. I, didn't have, I understood it. But. I understood it, but I don't think I could regurgitate it. Something to do with there's it's a certain type of fracture in a certain bone, which I don't remember because I've never heard of that bone before, but it also could be a ligament that stretched and pulled and torn attached to, what is it? Snuff box? Yeah. That's not a thing. Yeah, it is. Anyway, <laughs> it could be a torn ligament attached to a fractured bone is making it worse. So she said the only way we can get access to that in the hand is an MRI. So we're kind of, that's where we're at. So we'll come right back in a couple days and we'll see what our game plan is, whether it's an X-ray and an MRI or just straight to the MRI. They're hoping within a week. They really need to get her in for the MRI. So they're hoping insurance can hurry and approve it and get us on our way. Hello, friends. We are hanging out, or I'm hanging out in my car. Is that better light? Yeah. Oh, she's right here. We are headed to get Kaylee's MRI, finally. It's been, what, a week and a half waiting for insurance to improve it. And it's late at night late at night but it's late for like a doctor appointment right Kaylee? it's almost six o'clock and we are headed to the hospital to get her mri are you nervous about it no see how much i can document of the process and as it turns out um her doctor is on vacation for this week so we have an appointment a virtual appointment technically with her doctor's PA and she will give us the results and then if the actual doctor needs to follow up with us we will go you know they'll kind of 
follow up with her even though she's on break. So we'll just see how it goes. Tell me about it. How'd it go? Good. Do you want to do it here or in the car? No. We'll get in the car. It's cold. It's really cold. It's really cold. I just get cold like really easily and start shaking. Okay, tell me about it. What about it? So you had to lay on your stomach? Yeah. And then just... Put my arm out. And it wasn't really loud like he said? No, I just tuned it out. Did they give you music to listen to or anything? My headphones were weirdly on my face, but no, there was no music. Oh. And it was, but I couldn't hear it. So was it just weird or just like? It was fine. Sorry, kinda I'm like, like really cold. Was it like a long x-ray or something? Yeah. Basically. All right, I promised her Cafe Rio for dinner. So we have a follow-up appointment. I checked my calendar. And the PA is gonna follow up with us tomorrow morning at 10. So we'll, we'll be back. I think it's still really bothering her, but you know, not any better. Okay. Yeah. Um, and she tolerated having the MRI done. Yeah, she said it hurt. Well, it did not show us anything overtly concerning, so that is good. It does show us that she has injury to bone, as we had expected, um, and I'll show you those things. Um, it doesn't necessarily give us a great answer for why she has been as sore as she has been mm -hmm. for eight or so weeks right um, but i'm going to show you what the the report i'm going to switch things around here so yeah. and the ligaments are intact uh, and there isn't anything that's out of place so this you know this says that there is definitely injury to bone which makes sense that it would be sore mm -hmm. but there isn't anything that shouldn't be continuing to heal on its own I'm going to pull up some of the scaphoid. That's the bone at the base of her thumb that I thought had had injury previously. You can see that there's definitely fluid under here at the radius just below where the growth plate is, and we thought that's where the, the fracture was. And we can see that on several images, this is clearly an area that is injured. And then the bones, the remaining bones of the wrist look good as well. Um, again, there isn't anything out of position. We presume that this is some continued contusion and injury to the bone that hasn't made its way all the way to the edge of the bone um, and should continue to heal. I'm gonna pull up just another image here. Injury here. And in fact, as we look, this was likely um, uh, um, a little capsule that they had her put at the area that's most sore. Mm -hmm. And you can see that that does correspond with that area of the radius that looks most um, impaired. The, the good news is there isn't anything that's out of position. There isn't anything that requires a surgical intervention. Okay. Everything that we see should get better over time. It's frustrating that we're now, we think someplace, you know, at least eight weeks in, we think this injury happened at the end of October, but it might have been the mid of October. Right. It's hard for us to get an absolute date. While I would expect that it should get better on its own, the fact that it hasn't, again, it's hard for us to say exactly why, but I think that it may be reasonable to have Kaylee see one of our occupational therapists to see if we can at least be getting the wrist to a place where it's functional okay. so that it can do the things that it needs to do, you yeah. know, whether that's holding her phone and typing and doing the things that she needs to do for regular life. Right. Um, and and the hope would be that that may be an additional person who may be helping us monitor how the symptoms are going as time goes on. Okay. Um, 
So I'm going to send you in the mail a prescription for occupational therapy. Okay. Um, and then plan will be that we'll touch base again in another three weeks or so just to see where things are, are moving. Okay. Um, with the hopes that things would be moving in a positive direction. When I've had situations where there's been symptoms enough that we've gotten an MRI and we have identified injury to bone, but nothing that's out of place, I've not ever, you can never say never or never say always, <laughs> but I've never had to do another MRI in six or eight weeks or 10 or 12 weeks because it hadn't gotten better. Right. So that while this is certainly on the longer side of things, no question about it, I still think that the likelihood is that it is going to get better. Okay. Um, and, but I think we want to stay on top of this so that we can understand that it is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to mail you the prescription for the occupational therapy. We will arrange at least a virtual visit for three weeks and we'll see where things are going. Okay. Sound reasonable? Yeah, sounds reasonable. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And if Kaylee's got questions or issues, give us a call. Okay. That okay, sounds good. Guys, take care. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.